Kano, Kwara, and three other northern states governments spent over 2.6 billion naira on international trips in three months, yet attracted zero foreign investment. So findings by the Sahara reporters has revealed that five northern states in Nigeria spent a total sum of two points. Two billion six hundred and fifty seven million nine hundred and forty five thousand eight hundred and sixty one naira between January and March twenty twenty four on international trips without attracting any foreign investment. So uh, um, the National Bureau of Statistics gave out a statistic two days ago that since the last one year. Um, uh, since the last one year that the President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu's administration has come into power, only three states with Lagos stopping the lease got foreign investments, even though most of their FDIs dropped with a certain percentage. And 31 other states in Nigeria did not even attract any foreign investment at all. Out of all of these Ula Baloos, we still have some states going on uh, international visiting going on all of this um, international trips yet they still did not attract any foreign investment so here is a conversation we are looking at and the states that are involved here include Kano states um, Katsina state and Borono state are part of the states that spent this amount of money on international trips without attracting any foreign investment so i would like to hear your thoughts on this story because what baffles me in this story is that first as at the time they went on these foreign trips it was at the time that the president bola met tinumbu's uh tinumbu said that no minister or mdas should go on any foreign trips as at this time and according to the minister of finance he was saying that if they didn't go on these foreign trips as at this time that's between january and march they are going to save about 10 billion naira for the into uh, into the national treasury so first i see this um governors violating what has been said by the federal government that they could go on this foreign visiting but now that it didn't attract any foreign investment they've now come out to you know findings have shown us that despite the amount spent they didn't get you know they didn't get to attract any foreign investment so i want to hear your thoughts on the story should is this should we call this an act of wastage or try and look they've tried their luck they thought they could get foreign investment and at the end they come back with nothing or what exactly should we attribute this to well uh it's, it's not wrong for us to call it waste and uh why this waste has been going on and it's you know it it's it it is uh, possible is because of one there are resources you see, in Nigeria, we have resources. The problem we're having in Nigeria is lack of management of what we have. If they don't have this money, they won't be spending it. All right? Now, we we talking about uh, foreign investors. You don't beg people to come to your country to invest. Of course. They see the need to come. Most of the Nigerians jackpying out of Nigeria were not being called or compared to come or to you know to any of these countries they are, they, they, they are going to they, they, you know they they, they 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 see the need to leave nigeria you know to to go to those countries they see they they countries and from the testimony from those people they they, they decided to go there if our leaders can put to use all that is god has given us in this country investors will come on their own of course and 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 and, and, and we should not forget when you beg somebody to come the person will give you condition but when people see reason to come you give them condition that is what our leaders don't understand now a country that is blessed with oil it is you know this this all this money that uh, our leaders has you know you know you know spending anyhow is it it it's it making me to truly believe that our oil, you know, this subsidy of it in, they are not really telling us the truth about it. You know, because if 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 not for oil money, where do you think our leaders get all this money they are looting from? Mm. 
where are they seeing the money? What is providing the money? There is no there is no food production in the country. There is there is nothing that is that is no, there is no system that is working in Nigeria that you can say is generating. And I tell you, you cannot see what is not there. All right. So if the president, as you know, uh, you know, it, aside saying the people shouldn't go on international trip, if there is law, if there is penalty for disobedience to the to, to, to instructions, I'm sure the, the governors won't do that. Yes, All right. Exactly. So under under to to say that in a country under this to me, I want to believe that even the president is not bothered with the fact that his 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 his, 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 his administration is not productive. Mm. I'm telling you the truth. The administration of this APC government is not productive, and the the, the president is not bothered. Mm. He's not bothered about what the people are saying. He's not bothered about how the people feel. He's not bothered about the pain that the people are going through, and. Of course, there is money to spend on frivolities. That is why this thing is happening. I didn't mean the governors are spending the money from their personal pockets. I'm sure they won't be wasting it. But because they believe that no matter how they spend the money, Nigeria money can never finish. It is oil money. That is why they go about, you know, on occasion that has no benefit to the states, that has no benefit to the country. You know, my concern is that earlier in March, about 10 northern governors they flew out they flew to the u.s to learn how to protect their region and you know uh, quite a number of stories came out then that what is the need of why can't you bring these people in to come and teach you okay. and they 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 buttressed their reason for going that it is these people who ask us to come. They are sponsoring our trips and all of that. And the same Northern governors, some of the, the Sokoto and Borono state governor are involved in that meeting. They were involved in that meeting. And, you know, they have now come back again to say that, um, you know, we've not been able to see how they implemented that meeting that they went for. And now, Part of the reason why the Sokoto governor went on his own international trip was for training. And the question that comes to mind is that what training exactly? Because the, the, then they said the training was sponsored by the U.S. government. So now that that training, we know where the fund came from. So what training exactly did the Borno and the Sokoto state government went for, for this international trip for? That is one. Secondly is on the part of um, consequences obviously there are no consequences for why uh, for for certain action in the country because okay, if so. there are consequences this governor should not come back and still relax meanwhile you are not attracting any for in fact it is a dent on our image as a nation that you can go and uh, you can go and um enrich other people's economy and nobody is deeming its fit to come into your own country to invest and you know speaking in lieu of the national bureau of statistics yeah uh, as of two days ago the statistics that were released two days ago that about 91 sorry 31 out of the 36 states we have in the country did not recorded zero uh, in, uh, direct investments and and you know, it is a dent to our image as a country that there is really no reason why you have to stay in the country. There is what what can we point at? What can we point at as the major thing that people want to come and invest in in the country? There is nothing people are because it is in this nation, northern states, that we see cases of insecurity the most. You see, so even if they have the resources, there is no security to cover them, and you are still spending more. The a country where the Governors and senators are not patronizing their educational system, their health sectors. You know, sometimes in this place, we took a story of uh, how Nigerians were restricted from buying from a Chinese, uh, I think a Chinese store in Abuja. I think we took that story here. Now, because Nigerians want to, they, they, so, some, some people don't longer feel you know, the need to, to, to buy the Nigerian products anymore. Now, how do you, how do you, how do you attract foreign investors? Now, we have, uh, we have, uh, we have Nigerian nurses and doctors working in other countries. All right. Now, how many foreign doctors do we have working in Nigeria? How many, how many people do we have, you know, 
student, foreign students we have in Nigeria, right? Now, Nigeria is not seeing this thing as a problem. I'm talking about states, not uh, in, you know, attracting foreign investors. How many foreign investors do we ha has the federal level attracted? The other time the presidency were talking about 200 uh, Chinese companies. We don't know their name. We don't know what they are coming to produce. We don't know what they produce. All right. So the truth is that the fault, the problem as is coming from the top. The presidency is not seeing this as a problem. All right. And uh, I want to believe that this error, if not from the top, it won't have become what it has be what what it is now in the country. All right. Because the the the, the, the government the, the president cannot be working working you know very hard to ensure that things are working and the, the governors are not you know supporting him he will punish them but because the government the presidency is not working towards that so that it is not a problem they say where there is no law there is no sin mm -hmm. right that is what is playing out if the presidency is working on it and the governors are not working it is easy for him to spot it out and discipline whoever is not complying but in the in the situation by is not coming from the top there is nothing they, they are not seeing it as a problem and i keep on saying that because there is money on ground in this country the problem we're having in nigeria is not because there is no money there is no resources we have both the money we have and we have the resources also so but because of lack and bad management is the reason why once the money is there nothing to carry out nothing to to, to, to be done with the money you hear that somebody sometimes in in Nigeria we hear snakes swallowing money. We sometimes we hear that lizards swallow money. Sometimes you hear that money was burnt in enough. You know things that and that that are not believable happens whenever it involves money mm -hmm. in this country. You know, um, part of the many things that we can see that is causing this lack of investment is it still come back to our economy. We see that even the because what, whatever that will attract foreign direct investment means that this person see that your, the economy of the country I'm going to favors my business. business, and we see that even the already established business in the country they are living, yes, they are living already, and even the small scale businesses that are just starting up, there is no, they they have no reason to continue. You see that even the small businesses are folding up because the policies, the the economy of the country, the, uh, the taxing and all of that, they are not helping them to stay. So if the already established investments are living, what then would attract others? And we see that part of them, especially in this um, 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 this state that we mentioned, the Katsina, Katsina State, Borono State, and these other states, as much as people would want to invest in those states, they are also part of the state that is experiencing insecurity the most. So these governors, instead of thinking of how to curb insecurity in their state, because I'm so disappointed in Katsina State's um, 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 governor, because he was a part of that meeting and he was the one that was chesting it and saying we are not going there to spend our money the u.s government said they would sponsor us so i was expecting that all of those lessons that they have learned they will channel it into ensuring that there is security measures in place in those northern states to help to to help to attract more FDIs into the country, not all of these international trips. And you see, by the time we see the breakdown of some of these international trips, you see that it is not majorly for something that would benefit the states. The states. Or the country. It, rather, it is something that would rather benefit them, benefit their pockets and all of that. Maybe on private visiting, healthcare, whatever, and all of that. So let me hear your final thoughts on the story and we'll wrap up. Until we are ready to take responsibilities until we are ready to deal with our primary issues in this country, no foreign investors will come. All right? You can you don't need to tell a blind man that it's raining. All right? Foreign investors, they are watching news of what is happening in the country. We have the case of terrorism. We have the case of insecurity in this country, which is, which has, is globally known. All right? And you can't tell anybody. There is no way... You go out there to tell anyone that there is no insecurity issue in Nigeria. When they can see it, they can hear of it every day. All right. So if Nigerians are leaders, whether in the state level or federal level, once in in you know you know you know in, 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 in foreign investors, they should do the needful. Let them come together. Stop this wastage. Come together and combat insecurity. And I tell you something earlier that if you are trying to persuade someone to come, he will give you conditions. 
But if the person still reasons to come, they are coming to obey your rules and regulations. Right? Nigerian government should know that we have a lot of things in this country that is capable of attracting foreign investors. We have the crude oil, we have so many things that should make, you know, beckon on foreign investors into Nigeria. But because of lack of, uh, you know, you know, you know, safe ground for them to function, you know, where they, they, they are watching to see there is no electricity. We know the cost of diesel in Nigeria currently. We know the, the, the issue of, uh, aside, the, aside the issue of insecurity, there is no power, you know, power, uh, steady power. There is no good road network in Nigeria. And all these things are things that, uh, that uh, foreign investors want to consider right so that it will it will it will help to make their products thrive in the country so nigerian government you know uh should look into insecurity a lot has been wasted on frivolities already just for international trip that has no benefit to the state and the, and the government and the and, the, and the, the the federal government a lot has gone down just for frivolities for 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 things the ones we are hearing not not even the ones we have not heard of a lot has gone down already if all this money can be put together, you know, federal government sponsored people on, on Hajj, and many of them have lost their life. If all this money can be put together towards combating this insecurity, foreign investors will come, and many other things will start working in the country. Until this is done, let's not waste our time. Nobody wants to come and die here in Nigeria. Why many of Nigerian citizens are running out, we expect some people from other countries to run in, it is not possible. Let's not deceive ourselves. All right. On this segment of newspaper review, this is all that we can take on this uh, segment. But before we leave the studio, we'd like that you follow us on all our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Prime Media TV. On Instagram and TikTok, we are Prime Media Studios. And on the website where you're currently watching us, we are EngineSpeak.com. And you can do well to follow us on YouTube at EngineSpeak. I am Ayo. Until I come your way again, do have a great day.